morning guys today's tuesday and another day spent at home i feel like i only ever vlog at the moment whilst we're like having days at home um purely because i think it, with it being summer holidays the other days are very very busy and stressful enough without adding like a vlogging camera into the situation i actually got a working day today i've got two jobs that i need to do um so again don't know really why i've thrown a <laughs> vlogging camera into the mix we're still singing happy birthday a week on happy well birthday. two three weeks on from actual you birthdays but happy birthday to you. thank you darling mike's just out at a dental appointment um and i just need to kind of go around the house and pick up a few bits off the floor as per usual i was emptying the dishwasher this morning and whilst i was doing so Evelyn was decorating my pink sofa so that's a job. Oh, Evelyn's just walking around with a mirror. You love your mirror? Oh, pretty, isn't it? Oh, uh, do you love it? Oh, I love you. Evelyn, that doesn't fit you. That's a baby hat. No, my hat. It's a baby hat. It's not a baby hat, right? It's not a baby hat. I'm gonna go and get myself ready. I really don't want to put on makeup today, but like I said, I've got some filming to do, so I've kind of got to. Just in a way, because it is hot. We was actually away this past weekend, not anywhere fancy. Well, kind of fancy. We was in London. Um, we went to stay the night in the city for a little bit of a break, which was so nice. Obviously, we live in London, but not in like the city. So it's really nice just to take the kids in and do Borough Market do some sightseeing go on some lovely walks um and we just stayed the night just to kind of get out the house and it was really really nice um mike went out in the evening to meet a couple of friends for dinner um and i just had like a an in the room dining experience with the kids uh, a little bit of sleepover we watched some tv it was just lovely anyway i feel like i need to be getting ready um i got sent this lms superfood glow priming moisturizer last week um and i love it honestly i haven't moisturized my skin yet this morning i'm gonna pop it on honestly it's so so nice i love it i wish the bottle was slightly bigger i feel like i'm gonna go through this very very quickly this is 60 mils um yeah i really love it just applied my cc cream which is the it cosmetics um your skin but better cc plus i'm very much loving the glow right now next week i'm gonna film a um a beauty favorites video because i realized last night that i really enjoy those old school type videos and i've got so many things that i want to talk about which i know that the majority of you wouldn't mind being in a vlog but I know that it doesn't like that kind of thing isn't for everyone popping a little bit of my bronzer as opposed to like an eyeshadow essentially they're the same kind of thing they're both powder products um but actually it just ties in quite well if you're just going for like a bronzed look I think previous to like lockdown if it had been the summer holidays and we'd just chosen to stay indoors and have these slow days um I would have felt really bad like often in half terms and stuff i've really made an effort to do something every single day and keep the kids busy and keep them like keep their schedules very very full um but i think if there's one thing that lockdown has taught me it was that it's okay to have these slow days and actually the kids love them um they're happy to be at home just kind of like i am um i'm very much a homebody myself and you know what the kids are happy like obviously we're doing things like i said i think last week we're doing like a few days out a week but they're not necessarily the biggest days out um on friday i took the kids to chessington um it was way too hot though so we left like quite early um but we saw the animals we did a couple of rides they were fine and obviously we went away for the weekend which sounds like we are doing a lot um but we went away for the weekend for work but other than that we're just doing like garden centers and parks and honestly just trying not to spend a lot of money um because otherwise these places do wreck up and also like i've not spent all of these months inside 
just to suddenly be going out every single day <laughs> i know that playgrounds and stuff are open now and we have been a couple of times but i don't know there's something that's just a bit ugh, about it every time we're there the kids are all just like there's no social distancing going on at all um and obviously harrison went back to school and they were so 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 socially distanced um and i feel like that just isn't it's not happening anymore i think it's really really easy to look at everybody on social media and be like oh they're doing this and that and you kind of feel that pressure to do that too happy to be at home who's that put on my insta stories my sofa situation my pink sofa that is currently blue um and people are just like how are you dealing with this it's fine it normally comes out with um washing up liquid i just haven't got any washing up liquid <laughs> right now it's me pretty much done now I'm done i think i'm gonna go downstairs now and get a cave out so i make the kids make them some lunch and then i think mike should be in in like an hour i'm hoping <laughs> so i can get some work done Mobile. All of my birthday flowers have now gone, which makes me very, very sad actually. Uh, I feel like this is the first year that I've really been into like plants and flowers. You play with the water? I'll put a little bit in, just a little bit because you're already soaked, it looks like. Gentle, carry it nicely. Good girl. Well done. So I'm just doing, oh, emptying the sink to be specific for the dishwasher. Um, but I, oh, I don't know if it's because it's the summer holidays or because Mike's like working from home so there's more hobbies in the house. It's just never tidy. I don't know if my house is just one of these houses. It's just, I don't know. It's just never, ever tidy. Oh, it drives me mad. And I know the kids are young and that's like a huge factor. Like, of course, it's not going to be spotless. They've got stuff and they've got toys and things. But my goodness me. I think I'm also one of them people that admittedly I shouldn't. But I do spend so much time on social media that I see all of these like Insta perfect houses that are all spotless and minimal. They look like immaculately perfect in every sense and I compare and I'm like why isn't my house like that but actually I don't know if that's even achievable and would I want it to be like that I don't know there's always just stuff out here for instance we have stuff that needs to go in the recycling that will go in the recycling at some point today but I don't know when I've got up here gift bags I mean I think I'm just in one of those moods to be honest I've probably spent too long on Instagram this morning or something I don't know um but yeah it can get a little bit frustrating I've had comments in the past like oh my god your house is so messy oh my god it's so untidy blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um I swear it's just normal like it's a normal lived in house anyway I'm not gonna rant too much today um oh <sighs> definitely think that's something that I need to work on myself I think everybody does it to some aspect um of like comparing themselves and looking at what other people have I know like in the grand scheme of things I'm very fortunate I've got what I need I am very happy with what I've got like very happy very grateful very fortunate for what I have um but yeah my house is just always a mess I might just come home from the dentist with the goods Skipping on the bouncy grass is how they start their day. As one goat eats another bleats, it gives the birds a scare. But not the blackbird with a worm, he really doesn't care. What animal is that? That's a frog. Frog. He's in the water, he can't.
Daddy, I'm gonna move Daddy. I know, splash it, look. Yes, darling. What can I do? What can you do? No, I can't. I can't force you by doing it. this rice, it seems to have. There seems to be more on the There seems to be more on here than there will be in your tummy. Right, let me get the hoop around. What are you doing here? So typically on a work day, we do that. I've got loads to do. I've just felt the beginnings of the migraine. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Not really one. perfect but it's certainly better than it was um for reference um our sofa is velvet and and you shouldn't use anything on it i don't think our gray sofa is like clever velvet um and basically anything you spill on it wipes off which is dreamy but that one isn't washing up liquid it does the world of good to it it gets viral out which seems to be our biggest um our biggest thing that everybody likes to draw on the sofa with um and yeah today it gets out blue makeup like kids blue makeup i don't have any blue makeup myself i'm back in the kitchen to do the dishwasher again i feel like having two dishwashers and two washing machines would be a dream so it's about six o'clock now mike has just taken the kids off to football he's taken everly as well because i need to get this bit of work done but i'm trying to get it done and i just i'm just not pleased with how it's coming out so i might have to do that in the morning i don't know why i did this i do it all the time i regret it instantly um but i started sorting out harrison's room trying to downsize his toys and things um but you know it's like you get the toys out in front of the kids and suddenly they want everything um so in terms of toys and stuff i didn't actually manage to get rid of that many however i did downsize like a whole mom unit is it mom no calax sorry a whole calax unit um which is good although that's now in evely's room which i'm not keen on but it's, it's just a temporary thing until i figure out whether we need it or not or whether to rehome it but i have got a whole landing of things now to dump loft or rehome um so I'm, I'm pleased about that but i'm just concerned that they're going to end up being on the landing for like the next few days managed to get all of my work done where have i put my phone um managed to get it done which is fab i just need to edit it now and do that once the kids are in bed harrison's room is looking loads better i'm not going to share harrison's room as often as maybe i have done in the past although i don't think i've really shown it that much at all um of course i'll share it at times um and i'm gonna do a little rejig in there maybe decorate it a bit shortly which i will share um but i feel like he's at that age now isn't he where he's at school and i feel like if any of his friends happen to come across our videos i don't know if he'd want me showing his room and um, so it's kind of up to him when I share, when I don't share it, um, that's his space. I'm gonna get Evelyn's room ready for bed now, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but I need to put up her grow blind thing, which is always such a faff. Um, but we have to do that every single night because the light shines bright in here. Um, this room is a bit of a light catcher, which is lovely, but not ideal when you want Evelyn to sleep. So I'm going to put up her grow blind in a moment, get her pyjamas out. I've just ordered some delivery food from M&S because I figured that we hadn't actually got that much food in. And when they get in, they're going to want food, like dinner. Um, and I've not had time to like prepare anything proper. So I've just ordered a lasagna and some salad and stuff, um, which they'll be thrilled about. My head still hurts a little bit. I thought I got rid of majority of it but i don't know i feel like it's lingering a bit so i might get the kids ready for bed put them to bed and then have a bath um a bath a painkiller and an early night 
fingers crossed although whenever you plan for an early night does it happen honestly this thing is the absolute bane of my life so much darker in here so that's one job sorted now i'm gonna go and pick up the mess that i'm sure i've made down here oh. So both of the kids are home now, as you can see on their iPads. Um, we did things a little bit topsy-turvy, as Harrison would say, this evening. Um, I bathed them straight after football, and now we're going to have dinner. Um, probably not the best idea for lasagna, but dinner was going to take a while. I'm soaked because Everly <laughs> sprayed the... What's it called? The shower spray thing. I'm going to end the vlog here because after dinner, there's not going to be that much going on. Um, I'm just going to watch some Netflix, I think. So yeah, thank you for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment in the comment box below. I don't even know if it is below anymore. Yeah, just below, isn't it? Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon.